Looking at the uh, Catholic position, I think it's going to be a fairly straightforward uh, move. Um, I think uh, on the left, uh, the uh, the Catholics just want to wait uh, for the uh, their opponents to move. Uh, things are not looking too good for them over on that side, uh, generally, so I think they just need to play for time. Uh, meanwhile, on the right-hand side, uh, the uh, army is uh, at last in position. So all of these units here, uh, the two infantry units and the cavalry units here, uh, want to, uh, to move into contact, if possible. Um, that should, for the infantry, is going to be fairly straightforward. They'll need to roll... Uh, anything but a one or two, uh, but for the uh, cavalry it might be a little bit more complicated because they are attempting to charge uh, Dutch Star Cavalry and the Dutch Star Cavalry will uh, give them a volley as they try and come in, uh, which means they'll need to roll uh, above a three or four or better to uh, move into contact. Um, so I'm just going to reposition um, the commander first, like so. Um, and I'll uh, roll for these to move into uh, position um, and then come back to you. Okay, on the extreme right, the, uh, the two Kurasa regiments uh, uh, here moved into uh, contact with their opponents, uh, but that did require the commander to use his uh, command dice uh, for a reroll to get one to go in. Uh, this unit also failed to move in, and because he, there was no command roll, uh, it's, uh, it has uh, stayed out of contact, but uh, two infantry units successfully moved in. So uh, we have um, quite a, a little bit of com uh, combat now, so we'll now go on to that phase. So the first thing to do uh, is to decide where the artillery is going to attack this turn. Uh, I've decided to, uh, to hit this unit here um, uh, on the, uh, the German uh, allies side, uh, because they're now in, going to be taking morale tests and that will help uh, the, uh, the the early tercio to uh, cause some damage on that side. There's only one combat on this side, which is the light horse over here. Uh, they're going to shoot at the uh, Swedish horse who are opposing them. Uh, if you recall, uh, the only uh, factors that are uh, relevant are the uh, Swedish uh, star cavalry get plus one for being shot at by uh, ineffective fire from the light horse. Um, so they get plus one for that, they get a support, or any of the factors that uh, apply, so just a plus one. Roll two dice, and roll nine and ten, means they have passed their mile test, and nothing happens. Let's now turn to the other flank. Here the uh, two sets of infantry have clashed. Uh, we'll start with this unit here. This unit has a uh, plus one for rear support, uh, but it receives minus one because it's being shot at by... Uh, the artillery uh, and also another minus one because uh, this unit has more pikes than this unit. If you remember uh, this unit is a mixed pike uh, musket unit uh, with uh, approximately three uh, pike muskets to every two pikes whereas this is two to one. So it receives uh, plus one for the support but minus two for the artillery and having more pikes. So it rolls two dice uh, with minus one is a four. Four means that the unit takes a hit and receives a white marker to show that it has two lives left. The next unit along is the same kinds of calculations. So the unit has uh, plus one for rear support, but it is on a hill, so that's plus two. Uh, but it is uh, within, in contact with a unit with more uh, pikes, so that's a minus one. So overall, a plus one. Roll two dice. Uh, roll six, seven. That two takes a hit. Uh, the next combat, uh, the uh, the crashes here uh, fail to contact, but they can uh, move forward and shoot at their opponents, which they will do. Um, so therefore, uh, this unit gets plus one for rear support, uh, plus one because they're being shot by um, by cavalry. Uh, in an well, in effective fire from cavalry, so that's plus two. So a total of plus two. Uh, so they scored four, uh, plus two, six. So they take a hit as well, not a good start for, 
for the Protestants. Let's now turn to the, the extreme flank. Here the units are charged in, so this unit will receive plus one for the support of that unit, but it receives minus one for, uh, for being charged by Cuasias. So that means the dice roll is a straight dice. Uh, they roll and they get five. Uh, so five will be result in a loss of a life, but because the unit has only has one life left, that's what the red marker means, um, that they may not want to do that. So I think the commander will attach or try again. Uh, so they roll a second time to see what's going to happen now. <laughs> I've rolled even worse, so uh, that unit has been destroyed. Uh, which leaves the final uh, morale test to be taken here. This unit is slightly better off. It gets plus one for the support here and uh, plus one for being on a hill, which is plus two, but it's been charged, so that uh, gives a minus one. So the grand total of uh, plus one overall. It rolls two dice. Oh, okay, definitely uh, not the Potson's turn. So four is modified to five. Five is uh, lose, take one hit, take one Malfonia. So they get a red dice and they are going to uh, withdraw. So they withdraw to uh, that position like so. Uh, so they move back and rally behind their supports. Um, Remember, of course, if they didn't have any supports, they would go um, a, hot, a long distance back, that, that whole distance back. Finally, what we need to do is we need to see if uh, these two units uh, are going to do an uncontrolled pursuit. Uh, so they uh, pursue on a score of uh, four, five or six, but that can be modified. So this unit is elite, so it receives no modification uh, for that, but uh, it does have uh, commander next to it, so it receives a minus one. So they uh, roll the dice and get a minus one on the dice. So two is no. Uh, this unit here, uh, this unit is uh, a trained unit and uh, it receives plus one for that um, and uh, has no other modifiers, so it uh, rolls a plus one and if it gets uh, four better, it will pursue. So two is modified to three they don't pursue. So that completes the uh, Catholic turn for now. Uh, a good uh, turn for them, I think. Let's see how the, Swede the Swedes and their allies respond.